All right, welcome to my Bombsy 14 uh, story playthrough. So, and when I say story playthrough, I hope you're not expecting like high level gameplay or rating or anything like that. This is um, literally just from my little project to record every Final Fantasy. And I'm just going to go through New Game Plus for everything that is available for this game. So, uh, if that is what you're here for, then I hope you're, I hope you enjoy. Um, if you're looking for something else, I hope you find it. But for now, we're just going to uh, go ahead and start. It might turn off, and if it does, then we're just going to restart. It won't take but a couple seconds. But we're going to watch two movies. Okay, We're going to watch two movies first that I think kind of uh, um, is a good setup. And uh, and then we will go from there. Oh, one's about to start, so let's...
excellent intro there. One of my favorite cutscenes in gaming, but that's just one. And this next one's just a shorter one, a little bit of an introduction. So we'll watch that one. planet blessed by the light of the crystal. Amid azure seas, encompassing the westernmost of the three great continents, there lies a realm embraced by gods and forged by heroes. Her name, Aeorzea. The annals of Eorzean history chart the rise of a succession of great civilizations, each one enjoying an age of peace, the Astral Eras. To date, all have proven ephemeral. In the year 1572 of the sixth and most recent astral era, the Northern Empire of Gallimold amassed a great army at the heart of Eorzea, seeking dominion over all. Rising in desperate resistance, the forces of the Eorzean Alliance met their would-be conquerors in the field. Yet, even as the battle raged, the lesser moon, Dalamud was plucked from the heavens through imperial machination. From its core emerged the elder primal Bahamut, who unleashed his fury upon the realm. The devastation brought Eorzea to its knees and the era to its end. Five years have come and gone. The light of life still shines upon Eorzea. Man labors tirelessly to raise himself from the calamity's ruin. The realm is forever changed, a stranger to him once more. Yet heedless of what lies ahead, he shall press on. Spurred by the promise of peace and prosperity. Amid this period of great change, an adventurer arrives in Eorzea, one whose tale is yet unwritten. May he ever walk in the light of the crystal. Alright. So now we have all that situated, we can begin. I've already glamoured up a person, so it looks more... I have, like, okay level 80 armor on, but I've glamoured it to, uh... To look newbie-ish. I'm sort of going to have to wait a bit. So, um, so I can use this time uh, to say that I don't know what the New Game Plus for Realm Reborn. Um, I have New Game Plus, Heavensward, and uh, Stormblood before. But for Realm Reborn, it's kind of new that they've made it. I know they've also revamped, revamped a Realm Reborn since I've played it. So I... Don't quite know what to expect. So this could get... Uh, could get a little weird. If it starts where I started, it's going to start in Old Da. If, you're, if you don't know this game, depending on what class you choose, will dictate where you start off. So let me get rid of all these. Some people are probably going to judge my setup. I'm no pro player. You know, you're, you're just here for, for some story and stuff. 
Let's go ahead, we go to New Game Plus right here, and we hit Part 1, Real Brim Borm, and Commence. Alright, so, so now it's giving me my, my thing up here, whoops, um, okay, so then our first mission is over there, so we head there. Oh, I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy XI, so it took me a second to realize I don't have to open every door now. It'll open for me. We must rebuild. Well, youngling, how are you finding our final Da then? Got your barons about you yet? If so, mayhap it's time you ventured beyond the city walls. The bustling streets of Oldar are one thing, but the wilds of Thanalan, that's another altogether. I know a bloke you might fancy speaking to, and he you. Name of Papa Sean. You'll find him over the old Dodd Dispatch Yard. No doubt he'll have some work for you. The Dispatch Yard's over in Central Thanalan. Just head out the door across the hall, and you'll see the, the Gate of Nald staring right back at you. Pass through it and head east. You'll come upon it furlong. There's dangers beyond the wall, though. More than I'd care to count. Nothing too terrible, mind you, but feist enough to attack you if you draw near. Don't say nobody cared enough to warn you. So it actually skipped, um... Sorry, I gotta, I gotta get reacquainted with controls here for a second. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'm quite used to it, uh... Nope. Sorry, I have multiple different trains of thought going at one time. I'm trying to get the Fawn Seal Eleven controls out of my head at the same time, too. Um, but either way, it's starting us actually a bit ahead. How it actually starts off, if you start off in Old Daw, is you're in a carriage, um, you get attacked by these beastmen called the Amalja. And there are two uh, mysterious twins uh, that that quickly chat with you. And then you end up here, and then you do some chores, basically, to get you situated. And now they're starting you off um, the first time you, you know, go further than just the level one stuff. So. Ooh, mm. <laughs> I just realized for spoiler's sake, I, I need to change my uh, mount. <laughs> I can't use that mount until heaven's word if I'm doing that, if I'm trying to be, I'm not going to be too dense about it, but we'll see. Alright, so here's Papa Sean. Well, you certainly look like the part of the adventurer, my friend. Might you be the good soul Momodi advised me to expect, hmm? I am Papa Sean, station master of this humble dispatch yard. An empty title, I assure you. I truly am no more than a tired old Lalafell passing his final years in quiet and solitude. Twelve no, there have been plenty of... Uh, been plenty of both these last five years since the calamity struck. The devastation was vast. Yet now true old dons work together, doing all in their power to rebuild what was laid to ruin. By the sweat of our brow and by the love of our home, we have rebuilt old Dodd to the grandeur and majesty that you see today. The railways which run through the dispatch yard too were born of the noble efforts of a great many souls. But there is still much to be done. The wounds left by the calamity run deep. Isolated areas beyond our lines of supply remain, and there are places yet wanting for relief and restoration. Old Da needs the aid of you and your brethren, friend. In fact, never has our need been more dire. Which brings me to the point, I suppose. I do believe I may have some work suited to one of your ability. Okay, this one's called Nothing to See Here. Since you've come all this way, perhaps you can perform an errand for me. It just so happens, a number of sentries have been sent to guard an area dispatch, uh, a dispatch to the dispatch yard, as it were. They have long been away from the shade and feather beds of the city. The hot days and cold nights can play hells on the mind and body out there. Sorry, and just give me one moment. Ooh, I just realized. Dang it, am I not going to be able to do this? I don't know how much it's... How much it's lagging, but it seems to be quite a bit. Maybe not, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. 
<clears throat> it isn't much, but go and give them these twilight pretzels, would you? I find comfort food always helps when I feel like killing myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Papa Sean having some issues. <laughs> Alright, so we just need to run around and give some people some some food. We're humble starting off adventurers. Nothing big here. Halt. So I'm going to ask you to put the pretzel on the ground and place your hands above your head. State your name and business. A twilight pretzel from Papa Sean? By the gods, forgive me. You could say the new post has my nerves in a twist. I'm, I'm terribly sorry for that. <clears throat> yes, well, you may rest assured that the dispatch charge is safe as long as I stand watch. Please give Papa Sean my thanks and tell him I only wish I could repay the favor. Okay. I'm going to go ahead because it's going to take a while. I'm going to change my mount um, to um, to a, a non-spoiler. <laughs> there we go. And we're just going to make it. This is my, my chocobo. His name is Foghorn Leghorn. Means how we're going to be getting around. Twelve save me. Scorching days. Freezing nights. This is supposed to be the end of me. A twilight pretzel? Don't mind if I do. Ah, now that's a refreshing God's damn pretzel. I feel reborn. Also, I need to test something. Ooh, yay. Okay. <laughs> For a long time, we couldn't fly here. But I'm a newbie adventurer. I don't know how to fly. Oh, but I can't ride a chocobo, though. If you're playing the, if you're playing legitly, you don't get a chocobo until around level 30, um, unless something has changed. But for speed's sake, we're gonna start off with Foghorn. Western front clear, eastern front clear. For me, from Papa Sean, a Twilight pretzel, my favorite. How did he know? Can't fight on an empty stomach now, can I? Actually, I can't fight on any stomach. I suppose you could say I have no stomach for fighting. You've returned, and with fewer pretzels, I see. Tell me, how fair are Sultan's sworn sentries? Did they have anything to report? Anything at all? What? Nothing. Are you sure? Uh, oh dear. Take this for your troubles, then, and stay a moment. There's more I would ask of you. Shadow. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was an edgy name that I gave myself in middle school, and that is what our adventure will be called, so. But, <clears throat> Shadow, I have just this moment. No. No, the time for concealment is past. The truth is, even before I had you deliver those pretzels, I was privy to some most unsettling news. Which is the real reason I sent you to meet those Sultan Sworn. Underneath the Sultan Tree. A young noblewoman from a very prestigious family has run away from home, and I have been ordered to see her safe her, I've ordered to see you to her safe return. The Sultan Sworn you met earlier are assisting with the search. Alas, it seems they have found no trace of her. I apologize for not being frank with you from the start, but we must proceed with caution. Should word of her disappearance spread, I fear others would, with less honorable motives may join the hunt. And should we allow her to come to any harm, not even a hundred beheadings would be punishment enough. That cannot happen. Shadow, it must not. I need you to help me find her. You're going to see him nod a lot. <laughs> Praise the Twelve. I knew he could count on you. I've instructed the others to expand the search, but the Nolan is vast, and there are only so many of us. The young noblewoman's name is Lady Lith uh, Lil Lilira. I want you to go south and look for her in the vicinity of the Sultan Tree. Good luck. Alrighty then. Can do. I'm famously bad with proper nouns, and I just realized there's going to be a lot of names that I will say wrong. So I hope that doesn't anger too many people. Okay. Here comes our first battle for this. 
Oh, Sultan Tree. Okay, that's just telling me that we're about to um, do a thing. Oh, is it going to level sneak me? We're about to see, I guess. Oh, Sultan Tree, hallowed spirit of my line, forgive my weakness. My failings have cost us dear. Show yourself. <sighs> As you command, O oh Lilira. Forgive my selfish desire to assure your welfare. I don't recall requesting an escort. Simply pretend we never met and continue on your way. We both know I can do no such thing. It isn't safe for you here alone. It isn't safe for anyone. Not with this etheric disturbance. It's as though the dead are watching us. And I'd prefer not to join them, if it's all the same to you. Ah, you must be the one that Papa Sean mentioned. Congratulations on finding our elusive young charge. You'll have to forgive her impetuousness. What she lacks in discipline, she makes up for in stubbornness. You should return with us. The station master will be eager to thank Lady Lilira's protector in person. Alas, the station master will have to wait. Dear Lilira, for my sake, please stay out of harm's way. As for you, dear friend, for Lilira's sake, please stay in harm's way. First battle. Belanga. Okay, so it did level sync me, so I'm gonna have to actually be careful. <laughs> Do I have... Yes, I have these two. If you don't know how the gameplay works, don't worry about it. If you're just here for the story, just... You can sit here and pretend that it's way more exciting than it... <laughs> than it... How it looks. Everything should be... Super easy, though. At my level. I don't even remember what abilities I would have had available at this time. I mean, it's telling me. But I don't remember having Provoke. What am I? I don't even know what I'm sync to. Level 12? I'm level 8. Oof. He brought friends. Wait, do I not get Flash? Oh yeah, they got rid of Flash. <laughs> That's not even a thing anymore. Try to make it a little cinematic. Whoops. <laughs> Guess I shouldn't try too hard. Alright. Turning the camera. That makes things cinematic, right? Although it's turning my character around too. I, okay, so when I when I I played on a console, like since since it came out. So playing on PC has made it weird for me. I don't know how to turn off. Uh, usually when you turn the camera it works like just any other game, where it turns the camera but not your character. I don't know how to not do that here. I'll try to figure it out before before next stream. And it's down.
hear, feel, think. Crystal Bearer. I am Hydaelyn, all made one. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm, yet it hath since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. Shine thy light on all creation. Ah, coming around now. Would you mind telling me what that was? Hmm, if I only knew. The Void Scent? Yeah, but how? The question isn't how, but who. We're not dealing with bookless bandits. Don't suppose the answer came to you in a dream? No sooner did you fell the beast than you fell asleep. Too much ether, no doubt. Interesting. I hadn't considered the crystal. But of course, this changes everything. Hmm? Oh, just thinking aloud. At any rate, we haven't a moment to spare. I must return and report this at once. I leave Lady Lilira in your capable hands. How dare you pass me about like a swaddled babe? I shall return and tell them myself. As you wish, your impetuousness. I suspect we shall meet again before long. Until then. Don't try and stay awake.
So I guess it also would behoove of me to uh, mention that one thing they also skipped out on in the beginning, one of the very first scenes, is you waking up in, like, a, in a dark void type place, and there is a, a, a man draped in uh, black robes that we will learn is an Ashian, one of the villains in this game. Um, and you conjured up a light weapon and attacked him with it before waking up on that carriage that I talked about. So, and I did accidentally skip some dialogue there. I My hand slipped, so I'm sorry about that. I'm going to try to keep that as, as minimal as I can. Also, if you didn't notice, I have, I have a strict policy about not talking during cutscenes. So I, I like to straight up turn off my mic if there's voice acting, so... Thank the gods you've returned. You had us all worried. You do realize what would happen if your person of noble stature were to be injured, or worse. Why, her grace the sultana would be beside herself with grief, and so would her subjects. I dare say they'd be weeping in the streets. But I've already given you cause to weep, Papa Sean. You and the people of Alda. Please, you you're not to say such things. We will find it, I swear to you. It is not my place to make demands, m m my lady, but I beg you, please stay out of harm's way. I apologize for causing you undue worry, Papa Sean. I shall refrain from traveling unescorted in future. I cannot thank you enough, Shadow. I understand you fought bravely to protect Lady Lelira from void sent fiends. For your gallant service, you deserve all the riches in the royal vaults. Alas, a small token of my gratitude is the best I can offer. Hmm, a sarcastic man with a strange contraption strapped to his soldier? Shoulder? Pfft. I see you met Thancred. He's a scholar who spends his days investigating oddities in the ether. Rather too fond of the sound of his own voice for my liking, but perfectly harmless. As for you, Shadow, you're just the sort of adventure we need around here. I pray you show the same kindness to the people of Thanalan as you did to us today. Right, and next is called Step 9. You're an adventurer, yes? If you're not otherwise occupied, I have a favor to ask. I've resolved to repay a debt of gratitude, which I owe to the owner of the coffer and coffin. For this purpose, I've purchased from the royal plantations a prodigiously plump pumpkin, a particularly popular piece of produce. <laughs> I like Sisidoa. Alas, I cannot part this place to, pro to procure and proffer the pumpkin, you see. The scheduled shipment from the Nawana mine, for which I wait, is late. I would prevail upon you to pick up the pumpkin in my stead and see it safely to the coffer and coffin. Present this receipt of purchase to Gagari at the royal plantations, and she will yield it to you. I apologize for asking you to attend to this time-consuming task, but I truly appreciate the assistance. This is the royal gardens, so it's not very impressive. And also, it's, it's like 20 yards, my dude. Or yalms, whatever it is in this. If C.C. Doe doesn't come calling soon, this spectacular specimen shall sadly be put... <laughs> I need to say this right, because I'm not going to do some alliteration and justice. If C.C. Doe doesn't come calling soon, this spectacular specimen shall sadly be past its prime. Oh, so you're to deliver this decadent delight. I can say with confidence that any Gormon would be grateful to <laughs> for such a grand gift. Here is the pumpkin. I hope it meets with Roger's approval. Fresh produce is somewhat scarce in these parts, and as such we were always de deluge with demand. Deluge with demand. We know the way to the coffer and coffin, correct? It is beyond the bridge to the northwest. Look for the place where local laborers lounge. When I was reading it, I didn't notice the alliteration, but now that, that was a fun conversation. Alright, where am I heading?
They've also increased how fast you can move on a mount since I've seriously played this. I'm not used to being, this is like mock speed <laughs> to me. Alright, we're in, there's Roger. Drink for you, laddie. You won't get alone. You won't get better ale or sprites for your coin than at me place. What's that? Yishi Sakoa asked you to bring this here to me? Ha! Yeah. So even that foul mal the drunk knows the meaning of remorse. Beckon this is for the time I carried his drunken sodden arse back home. But hells, and honest to god pumpkin from the royal plantation, I can't wait to see what uh, the cooks will do with her. The lads here scoff down beastly amounts of meat, and it's starting to tell to tell on their health. It'd be good to get more veggies in their bellies, assuming I can get the stubborn bastards to try something new. Thanks for your help, laddie. And this is prudent at the at this junction. Is this mission where it is? Blackbird Station sorely under manned. The stone torches there can't get a moment's peace. Bloke by the name of Warren is hoping to boys to bolster their numbers for a short-term assignment or two. If you fancy putting a few extra gill in your pocket, you could do a lot worse. Alright. How far away is he? Alright. Looking for work, perchance? If so, you couldn't have come at a better time. We stone torches are sellswords hired by Amagina and Sun's mineral concern to protect its interests. Our primary duty here is to keep the tracks clear of pests, and is for the purpose that we shall require your aid. I should point out, however, that it can be messy work, and liable to get messier still if you're ill-prepared. A single piece of gear can mean the difference between life and death. I'll not have it on my conscience that it's an ill-equipped adventurer to an untimely demise. See to it that your arms are in order, when you're ready, present yourself to me again. Okay, and we're good there. Yeah, this is to make sure that you are that you actually have stuff equipped. So, are you ready for inspection? Good, everything appears to be in order. Yet, know that naught is guaranteed in this world. Fate is a fickle mistress, after all. At any rate, capable adventurers like you are few and far between, and I would not have you throw your life away. I have had to bury many too many comrades who brushed aside cracks in their, in their hauberks and dents in their helms. No matter what you face, do not disregard the importance of gear. Out of house and home. Let's get to it then, shall we? Ore wagons pass through the station every day, but not without incident. Wagons coming and going into the dispatch yard uh, to the south must pass through a tunnel by Fesca's watch. A tunnel in which some genius saw fit to put an ore storehouse, creating ideal condition for a Colbian nest. Coblin. So now the ore loving beasts have taken up residence in a tunnel we dug, and we're practically delivering meals to their doorstep. But no more. Inside the tunnel in question you will find a narrow fissure where the where the coblins hide. Use the silver ore cluster to lure out the creatures Christ, creatures, then slay them. I swear I can read. <laughs> Tried my best there. It's a big turtle. Yeah, these are not going to really be a problem. Because we're level 80 and they're level 4. <laughs> uh, don't fly. It's hard not to. Well done. It shan't be easy work to keep the tunnel free of coblins. But our wagons should be able to go unmolested for a time. Distributions, disruptions to ore shipments threaten not only interests of uh, Amagina and Sun's mineral concern, but of Olda herself. 
One might liken these train tracks to veins that bear our nation's lifeblood. If only we had more men like you to lend a hand. Well, aren't we getting quite a reputation around here? Way down in the hole. Ah, the altruistic adventurer. I was hoping we'd bump into each other. Why? Because the most fascinating piece of news recently reached my ears, and I'm eager to share it, may I? Rumor has it that there is a vast, untapped vein of ore beneath the ruins of Silde. But that's not all. Inconceivably, the concern appears to be entirely ignorant of its existence. And even as we speak, a young upstart, a self-made merchant from Stone's Throw of all places, is, claim is moving to claim it. The fellow's name is Wystan, and he is a very, very ambitious young man. Not only does he intend to secure exclusive evacuation rights, but they say his master plan is to use this new fortune to curry favor with this with the uh, Sacrarium. Of course, the Thaumaturges only consider the opinions of the most wealthy when drafting the laws of Ulda. If you would have your voice heard, you must be prepared to pay a sultan's ransom. One voice, which is invariably heard, belongs to Lord Lolorito. He has had long, lavish guilt upon the Thaumaturges, and some claim that he devises new laws with the express intention of ruining his competitors while protecting his own interest. Suffice it to say, if Wystan thinks he can compete with the likes of the Syndicate, he's in for a rude awakening. But that eventually may yet be a little way off. But, okay. But that eventuality may be a little way off. For the present, he's moving ahead and his plans and assembling a team for... Sh he's moving ahead with his plans and assembling a team to survey the site. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble with this one. I'm told he's at the coffer and coffin right now, recruiting able-bodied adventurers to escort his prospectors. Warren said you were looking for work. Mayhaps you would meet Wystan and volunteer for his expedition. Okay, so there we got a little glimpse into the politics of Ulda, where there is a sultana, but most of the um, most of the laws and if things are run by a corrupt group known as a syndicate. Made by a bunch of uh, lords and the like. Alright, there he is. <laughs> Come to join. Sorry, but you're too late. Some brass blades looking for extra coin volunteered, and the team's already en route to the ruins. But look, I know it's not easy to find work these days. If you're interested, there's something else you can do for me. There are these children outside, little ones from Stone's Throw. I look after them when I have time to spare. And so they've taken to following me around, even when I tell them not to. But what with overseeing the search for the vein, I barely have a chance to visit the privy at the moment, much less entertain younglings. Can you give them the gin these ginger cookies and convince them to go home for me? <laughs> sure thing. I ain't going nowhere, mister. I'm too hungry to move. Besides, so you'll have to carry me. A cookie? Well, if Wystan really wants me to go home, then alright, but I want two next time. Oh, I didn't read what it said, I'm sorry. Wystan's worried about us? Oh, I don't want to make him worried. I'm a good girl, I'll go home. But Wystan always plays with us, why won't he come out and play? Wow, a ginger cookie. I better have to save some for my brother. I know, I'll go home and eat them with him. Wait, wasn't that my last cookie? Wystan's kind to us. I like him. Oh, apparently not. This is for me. I want to eat it, but then again, I don't, because then it'd be gone. Tell Wystan thanks, and tell him I'm sorry for getting in the way. Alright. Thank you, adventurer. I only wish I could do more. Stone Star was no place for a child. But that my childhood was much happier? Never enough food to go around, nor work to earn it, but no sort of contempt from the great and the good. I remember thinking things could only get better, yet now, after the calamity and everything else, for us refugees to be forced to live outside the gates like bloody beastmen is a disgrace. They say with enough money you can change the laws here, so I'm going to make a fortune and do just that. I'll buy the excavation rights and start my own mining business. Then I'll give my fellow refugees the work they're crying out for and pay them fairly. The mining companies have profited from our suffering for too long. But in their hubris, they've grown complacent, presenting us with a golden opportunity. And we will take it. Adventurer, we will reclaim our dignity and with it, our place within those walls. We found her. We found the vein. Why stand? You've got to come and see. 
Already? Amazing! We leave at once. You should join me, my friend. Come and bear witness to history in the making. I have a very precarious plan I have to do, and all you did for me was give cookies to some kids. But I'll show you. I'll trust this with you. That's, that's weird. Now, if I do take a wrong turn somewhere, I am just going to cheat and fly, but we'll see. How did that turn out, Y-Stan? Val's ball, son. A vanivore in the middle of a ruined, bloody city? God's damned idiot. What do you think was going to happen? That you strike it rich and get cozy with the order that the Masters of Old Da looked on? While the Masters of Old Da looked on? No one crosses the Syndicate. The... the Syndicate? Ha! <laughs> Finally sunk in, has it? Well, look at this. Not all your friends have deserted you, it seems. Lucky boy. Now, you won't have to die alone. O oh, mournful voice of creation, grant ye this humble stone a soul, that it may wake to life. Who's that spouting gibberish? Show yourself! That ain't part of the plan. Bloody hell, does Lord Lotorito mean to kill us too? Alright. We're level right now, we're level 13. And we don't have that many new stuff to... Or that much new stuff to use, so... You are strong, but are you strong enough to withstand this? Impossible. Never has the golem been so sorely tested. Oh, he did. That the golem could be vanquished. That man is no ordinary adventurer. Damn, seems I've missed all the fun. I see you didn't need any help this time. I would compose a ballad in your honor, but I fear no words would do you any justice. The songstress of Olda herself could not rival your beauty. Oh, stop it. I have often heard it said that Blossom's beauty can move a man to moot to love and long, but I never truly believed it until I met you two desert roses. I hear they attacked another caravan. Aye, and business is suffering for it. Buddy Amalja, what stirred him up, do you reckon? Another raid, and I'd wager that caravan was carrying crystals, much like the last. If they truly mean to summon a primal, we must act quickly. Are you coming, love? You wouldn't keep a girl waiting, would you? Perish the thought. So tell me, where in this marvel of a city might you lovely ladies be staying?
At this rate, grain will be soon more precious than gold. A result of the uncommonly bad harvest, to be sure. And we have you to thank for them, do we not? Aye, this weakening of the Aetheric throw must surely be linked to Dalaman's descent. And of course, to the primals. A fine mess, but we must not lose hope. Louis Soir will know what to do. We need only trust in his judgment. Truly a marvel of Charlayan ingenuity. It's as if I could reach out and touch the ether. Time to focus. No more gallivanting about it like before. The scions are counting on you. Have faith. Just have faith. <laughs> have faith. You can do this. Hmm. This disturbance is recent. The Sultan Tree? Maybe Papa Sean will know something of it. Looks like they gave you quite a thrashing. Can you walk? It's me. I was too late. Our person of interest had already quit the scene. The general? Very well. I shall be there anon. My colleagues went to great lengths to provide me with the means to detect Aetheric disturbances, but every time I find one, you seem to be in the middle of it. I'm starting to wonder if it might be simpler just to follow you around. Sadly, I have business elsewhere. Tread softly, my friend. The carefully laid trap you dismantled was clearly sanctioned by Lord Lolorito. I heard the blades mention him as they fled. Believe me when I tell you that he is not a man to be trifled with. The Sultana's enemies grow bolder by the day, and I suspect they have the support of outside forces. Thank you. If it hadn't come along, those bastards would have surely have slaughtered us all. I would speak to you further, but, is it, but it isn't safe for us to linger here. Find me at the coffer and coffin later. Until then, stay safe. I shall accompany Y. Stan and his men. They need protection, and I need more information. Ah, but where are my manners? I have yet to properly introduce myself. I am Thancred, a humble scholar surveying the flow of Aether in Thanalan. It is an honor and a privilege to make your acquaintance. I hope when next we meet, it is under more aus auspicious circumstances. Farewell. Ah, uh, wait a moment. It occurs to me we may have... Never mind. Fare thee well. Alright. Twelve bless you, my friend. You risk your life to save ours. Betrayed by my own guards. Gods, I was a fool to trust those men. Lolorito owns the gods' damn brass blades. I should have questioned their motives from the start. Even so, I could hardly have predicted that the wealthiest man in Old Da would want me dead for the heinous crime of seeking to change the law. I'm such a merchant, for God's sake. That ruthless bastard. And what of that monstrosity? Those were his own men. 
It, be it beggars belief. Well, that's it. I'm finished. If I stay in Old Dahl longer, I'm as good as dead. My associates, my friends, gods, even the children may not be safe if I don't disappear. And you, goddammit, if Lodorito learns of your involvement, you'll be next. I'll speak with the others and make sure you're, uh, sure your part in this day secret. Beyond that, I don't know what to suggest. Maybe you can go see the, the council of Mistress Momodi. She's held countless adventures in her time. Mayhap she'll know what to do. Go quickly, my friend. Lolorito spies may be watching. Okay, so we're going back. Momodi uh, is in charge of... That was the, the Lala in charge of... Um, new adventurers. So, we just need to go back. Night has fallen. I'll, I swear I was trying to look at the uh, the night sky, not the not Foghorn's butt. My sister thinks that parts of the of the night version of Old Oz Night Song sounds like the beginning of Up, the Pixar movie Up, like the sad parts. So if you can hear, maybe you can get your own opinions on it. But I'm going to be talking. <clears throat> Settle down, Shadow. You've nothing to worry about. No one seems to know you're at the ruins. Why Stan, on the other hand, is now a pariah, about as welcome around here as the rabid wolf. Poor bugger. Suffice to say, that boy risks, his, risks the wrath of the wrong man. Lord Lolorito, chairman of the East Aldenald, Aldenard Trading Company, generous contributor to the Order of Nald Thou, and member of the Syndicate. Didn't get where he is by leaving loose ends, that one. Which is why he ain't above killing his own men. Hells, even if those blades knew what was coming, it's not like they could refuse to do their benefactor's bidding. <sighs> Don't let this color your view of old Oz shadow it's true that there are some here who ain't afraid to crack a few skulls if it gets them what they want but most of us here are decent folk just trying to make ends meet you know a lot of people would call you a damn fool for risking your life to save a marked man but i believe you did a good thing shadow and for what and for that you have my respect listen you've been through a lot lately why don't you rest a spell i'll have the boys at the hourglass to set you up with the room my treat just have a word with Otapa Potapa <laughs> whenever you feel like staying. I love Lollafell names. And when you've got your appetite for adventure back, consider taking a, taking on a guild leave or two. You gotta remember, this is still the beginning of the game, so we're getting some tutorial stuff that we're not going to actually do. We have a lot of requests from locals looking to hire adventurers for various jobs. It'd be a good way for you to earn some extra gil. Users can tell uh, you more about how that system works. So go and speak with him if you're interested. <laughs> Gotta do that. Alright. Alright, and we're not gonna sleep. Sleeping's for the week. Taking what they're given. Look what the coral dragged in. Good to see you, Shadow. I'd ask what brings you in, but I reckon we both know the answer to that already. Well, have I let you down before? Wait, don't answer that. So happens, I know a fellow by the name of Dadanen, who needs a hand. He's a merchant by trade, selling precious stones to those in Uldah with the means to buy them. He'll ask that I send any looking for work his way. You can find him over in Horizon, if you fancy. That's in Western Thanalan, mind you. Just cross the bridge, north of Scorpion Crossing, and the road will take you there. Knowing the circles he deals in, uh, might be he'll have some talk of the royal family that'll be interesting as well. And why not make use of a chocobo porter for the journey to Horizon, if you got the gill for it, that is. You'll find the chocobo stables just across the way from the quicksand. Find minigun? <laughs> find Mimi gun. He'll set you straight. Well, off you go then. I haven't all day to be ho holding your bloody hand. Okay. I am going to be doing more traveling than teleporting, at least for a bit, because I feel like seeing the world, if I played it just, like, uh, at maximum efficiency, 
uh, I think seeing the world is like part of the experience of 14. This is like probably is my favorite gaming world ever. I love Eorzea. So I feel like just walking around and seeing the sights at least a couple times. <laughs> There's going to be times in which I will definitely abuse teleportation. Like during the the Corthus part of A Realm Reborn. If you know, you know. Shadow, I presume? Aye. Mamodi said to expect you, and so I have. Welcome to Horizon. Ours is a trading settlement that sees goods in from the port of Vesper Bay to the west. And trade we do. Nary a day goes by, the Horizon isn't bustling with some manner of merchants and officials. They keep us running about busy, they do. Enough so that I wish I had chocobo legs in place of my own. And that's why I've asked Mamodi to send in me many souls looking for work. Twelve, no. There's plenty of it to be done around here. Speak to me again when you're ready to make yourself of some use. Supply and demand. It so happens that I have a situation that must be resolved post-haste, and I do mean post-haste. I'm plumb out of premium product and my latest order has yet to arrive if i keep my customers waiting any longer this could in irrevocably damage my reputation what's worse i paid my men in advance for his service despite his assurances um that'd be a that'd be a simple affair i've heard nothing since he departed for copper bell mine days ago find drunken stag and give him this notice i cannot afford any further delay Right. We can do that. What do you mean? Hmm? Dadanan's product? He can send all the notices he likes, but it won't change a thing. The concern has closed the mines due to some incident in the depths. It's a god's damn shame, too. Lost a decent haul just over yonder during all the chaos. Jesus Christ, this mission is called Give It To Me Raw. <laughs> By the way, there's a bunch. We haven't hit any yet, but there are some. I'm a, I am a pun lover, and there are some great puns in this game. So, I'm going to be doing some giggling. The product you heard Dadan going on about is a valuable gemstone known as Raw Nashasite. I managed to dig up a goodly amount just before the mines were closed off, actually. Packed it up and hauled it out, even. But then, uh, them twelve damn goblins came along, not like any goblins I've seen before, and hungry only for the good rocks. They had eyes for my gemstones, so I had no choice but to oblige. The stone torches had their hands full evacuating the mines, so they ignored the beast. Even now, they're only concerned with keeping people out. Please, friend, if you're willing to face the goblins, would you bring me my Nasha site? All right. We got to go in here and just murder some stuff real quick.
One, two. And three. How did you fare, friend? Did you find the raw Nashasite? Beautiful, isn't it? Rarer than many stones, and more expensive than most. They say the green is the same as the eyes of, of Nanasha or Nasha, who once ruled as the Sultana. This should save Dadadin from his troubles. If there's enough left, there's far less than what I found. I reckon those cobbins made a meal of the stuff. Bloody waste. The perfect swarm. You'd like a chance to make some money, right? Then I know how I can repay you for your kindness. Swarms of sun midges have been harassing travelers along the road connecting Horizon to here. It's gotten so bad that the brass blades have started playing folks have started paying folks to keep the roads clear. If you find it hard to believe that swarms of tiny midges could be so troublesome, then you've never seen a chocobo driven into a frenzy by one. They've already been some terrible accidents. Do your part and slay a few swarms. After that, let Fufulupa know. He'd reward you for your troubles. And maybe even offer you more work. Alright, so we just gotta go kill some bees. Some flies. Oh, didn't expect that. Well, I did, because I saw the connecting lines, but I didn't think things this low level would actually attack me. Greetings and salutations, adventurer. To what do I owe this? What? You've slain how many swarms of sun midges? You have my sincerest thanks. The brass blades have been struggling to keep them in check, so your assistance is greatly appreciated. Will you be staying in Horizon long? If so, there is much and more you can do to help here. Alright. <clears throat> Last letter to Lost Hope. Pray, allow me to enlist your aid, brave adventurer. I would have you uh, ascert ascertain the whereabouts of a missive I sent to Lost Hope the other day. Captain Leofric is stationed there. Ever since he was transferred, we've exchanged letters, but never before has it taken this long to reply. And so I fear that the courier may have met with some misfortune en route. She must have made it to Central Thonalan, or the brass blades that patrol the roads between here and Scorpion Crossing would have seen something, but... If she made it as far as Blackbird Station, she would have surely delivered the letter by now. Lost Hope is practically on its doorstep. I suggest you focus your search on the road to Blackbird Station in Central Thonalan. With luck, you will find her quickly. Okay, so... Man, we're fast now.
Huh? A letter? Aye, I've gotten Fufalupa's missive right here. I won't be delivered any time soon, though. Got to tend to my, burns in my bird's injured leg first. Even the most minor of cuts can fester if ignored. Fufalupa sent you, right? If this is a pressing matter, why don't you take it the rest of the way? Lost Hopes just past Blackbreast Station to the northeast. Look for the tents by the river. Just passing through. We'll really be staying a while. Fupalupa sent you all this way f because of a late letter? <sighs> the boy is still far too earnest. Despite my demonition, he continues to call me Captain. Did I really say demonition? Let's restart. Despite my demotion, <laughs> he continues to call me Captain. I suspect he has no idea what it means to be transferred to Lost Hope, either. The, <coughs> the brass blades don't give a uh, quicker into arse about the settlement. No one in Elda does. All here have been forsaken, adventurer. The refugees, their protectors, and you will be too, if you're seen associating with us. Thank you for the letter. Now, for your own good, leave. This next one is called Air Today, Gone Tomorrow. <laughs> Like I said, the puns are gonna come fast in this game. I thought I would. I thought I told you to get out of here. What? Looking for a chance to do some good? I guess I can't force you to leave. Damn stubborn adventurous, the lot of you. Fine then. Listen well. A band of outlaws has taken up residence in the Quiveron Manse on the ridge to the south. Their leader has styled himself heir to Elaid Quiveron. I think <laughs> the syndicate member who died in the calamity. Spit. The Baron and his cronies are not more than a pack of jackals. They prey on the last of the prey on the people of Lost Hope, robbing them of what little they have. I myself cannot act without endangering the refugees, as they know my face and will retaliate against Lost Hope. You, however, are not known to the bandits or their allies. If you wish to help us, then deal with the Baron. So we have been tasked to kill or defeat Baron Von Quiveron the Third Esquire. Okay, gonna do a little cheat jump here. Just to get us up there. Alright. And luckily they'll ignore me because I'm so much higher level than them. So we just go here, he'll appear, we one shot him. And then we go away. <laughs> Usually that is a way more annoying mission if you actually come here, like at level, you know, 12, 13, where you should be right now. It's rough. So, it is done. Good. I hope that wretch died screaming. Well, some random dude just ran up and stabbed him and ran away while everybody, while this whole camp watched in horror. So I'm guessing it wasn't a very peaceful death. Alda is more prosperous than ever, some say. That may be true for the syndicate, but none of that wealth has trickled down to the small folk. It's all a mummer's farce. One day, I refused to play my part, and so I was made to leave the stage. I. My time has passed. The brass blade to the rose must look to others for guidance. Okay, this next one is called Passing the Blade. Oof. 
As you may have noticed, I'm in no shape to leave Lost Hope right now, so in my stead, I'd like you to return to Horizon and give this dagger to Fupalupa. Although it's just an old ornamental dagger, it belongs with the brass blade to the rose. Aye, I should have given it to the boy before I came here. Okay, so we will teleport this one. So we're going to, um, Horizon. I thought I had that favorited. Ah, Shadow. I received word from Captain Leofric on the, the other day. Thank you for delivering the letter for me. What? Why do you have that dagger? Only a captain of the Brass Blade to the Rose is permitted to possess one. Captain Leofric says I am to have it? There must be some mistake. He couldn't possibly mean to tell me that. No, no, of course not. I'm not worthy to wield it. Nevertheless, I shall respect the captain's wishes and take the dagger onto safekeeping until he it comes to reclaim it. Following footfalls. The Brass Blade to the Rose have need of your assistance once more, Shadow. Thaumaturgists from the Ossery are uh, presently surviving the footfalls, surveying the footfalls for ancient relics. As the area is rife with wild beasts, the rising garrison has been charged with their security. But Captain Bladewin uh, sent out a handful of Brass Blades. Despite his assurance to the contrary, such a small unit cannot possibly be sufficient to protect our patrons. I would have you offer your assistance to my comrades, play travel, pray, travel to the footfalls, and speak with Todoruna. Now, most 14 players have seen the footfalls more times than they want to. More times than they really want. Once we join a certain group and we meet the protagonists, we're going to be traveling this little area here a whole lot. There's going to be a certain saying we're going to get tired of hearing. But either way. A bleeding adventure come to help. I ain't heard nothing from Captain Bladewin about this. He said oh, trusted men only. Any road. We've got this under control. And besides, this operation ain't got nothing to do with Fupalupa. Boy's got a stick of his arse the size of a sabotender. That's a cactuar? <laughs> That's like this tall? <laughs> well, you can't see it because my thing doesn't, doesn't go. But yeah, that's quite the insult. Um, it's no wonder the captain told him to stay at Horizon. And this one is Storms on the Horizon. Hey, adventurer, mind running a message to Crescent Cove for us? Captain Bladewin's playing, planning some festivities for the Thaumaturge to see. And he wants them treated to the finest food and drink. Nothing but the best for our distinguished guest, eh? Head west and south to the village and tell Raph that he's to deliver the bounty of fresh fish to Horizon for the feast. Oh, I wonder if there's an option to not play the Chocobo theme. Because I love the music in this so much, and don't get me wrong, the music in this, uh, the Chocobo theme is great in this, but I, I like the, like, just listen to this for a second. So calming and good. I love the music in this game. I just love this game. But anyway, enough gushing. For fresh fish? For Captain Bladewin? Of course, of course. We will do our best, sir. Unfortunately, we've had a poor catch in recent days on account of the rough seas. More boats should be returning soon, but I cannot promise that their catch will please. But don't worry, sir. The captain will have his fish, I swear it. I don't know how my armor's doing. Except that's a... wait, air mender. Where's repair? Oh well. I guess I could just check. I should probably get around to fixing it soonish. Oh, Captain, my Captain. That's what this one is called. You are an adventurer, are you not? I know this is sudden, but I have no one else to turn to. 
Last night, a gang of bandits from the Quiveron Mons were in the cups, were in their cups, and I overheard them discussing their plans. It seems they've come to collect gemstones stolen from the Copper Bell Mines. Nasha site, I think is what I heard one say. They are to meet with their co-conspirator soon, at the footfalls. Well, what did you say? Illicit exchanges and shadowy dealings? The brass blades cannot abide such... Malficence? Malficence. I think that's what that word is. Forgive my eavesdropping shadow. I came to Crescent Cove merely to thank you in person. I never imagined I'd uncover a criminal conspiracy right outside Horizon's gates. We must ask quickly if we are to apprehend these thieves. I will notify Captain Bladewin at once. No, wait, you mustn't... Oh, gods. You must stop him before it's too late. Captain Bladewin himself is working with the bandits. What a twist. All right. Alright, so what level is it going to sink us to now? Captain Bladewin, sir, I've discovered something shocking, something horrible. Someone has been stealing gemstones from Copper Bell Mines and... Wait, those gauntlets, those boots. Why, you're one of Quivron's men. Sir, that man is a thief and a scoundrel. And, what of it? He's good coin, and that's what counts. What? Captain Blaywin, are you working with these men? It cannot be. I told you to stay in Horizon, Fubalupa. It didn't have to be like this. They'd get their Nashasite, I'd get my gill, and none would be the wiser. But, but sir, what if your crimes are uncovered? What if Lord Lodorito finds out? You goddamn fool. Don't you see? I am acting under the authority of Lord Lodorito himself. No! No, that can't be true. Fupalupa is getting radicalized before our eyes. Why do you think people join the Brass Blades, Fupalupa? To serve and protect? <laughs> We're not the bloody flames here. We do this for the coin. The, uh, um, the flames are the, uh, uh, merchant, like, well, kind of like police force slash army for Olda. Immortal flames. But you there, adventurer, do you remember me? Well, I remember you. I am Sir Baron Von Quiveron IV, Esquire. You killed my brother, and now I'm going to return the favor. Well, that settles it. Clearly, it's in everyone's best interest that both of you die. Alright. So I do have to take this a little bit seriously. I believe he's a white mage, so I should kill him first. Okay, then let's kill these archers. Oh, what level am I? We're 18 now. Huh. There we go. That's enough, Blade One. Your partner is dead, and your plans are undone. You've no reason left to fight. Stay out of this, Leofric. I don't take orders from you. I may have spared your life before, but if you interfere, I will not show you mercy. And what mercy will he show you, I wonder? You, who have done so much in another man's name. What are you blathering on about? 
Every fisherman in Crescent Coves knows about your meeting, you arrogant fool. Quiveron's men couldn't keep their mouths shut. Imagine Lord Olorito's surprise when he's learned that a rank-and-file brass blade was using his name to advance a personal agenda. He knows? Seven Hells. But I'm a captain. He wouldn't... I was once a captain too, remember? And we both know what happened to me. Well fought, boy. You've done the brass blades of the Rose proud. Captain Leofric, Captain Bladewin, he... he said that Lord Lodorito... Lord Lodorito wouldn't waste his time on a small-scale smuggling operation. This is all Bladewin's doing. What else did he say? That all our brethren are no better? And that each and every one cares of naught but coin? Ha! Mere excuses to justify his schemes. Aye, we've no shortage of greedy sods. Some who'd probably sell their own mothers into slavery if the price was right. But there are men like you, Fupalupa, men good and true, whom the small folk respect. Which is why I gave you the dagger. The brass blades of the rose need a leader with honor, and you're the most honorable man I know. <laughs> Captain. Thank you for all your help, Shadow. The Captain and I will escort Captain Bladewin back to Horizon. Pray visit me in town when next you return. Alright, speak with Fupalupa in Horizon. I wanna... Uh. Jeez. Big burb. Welcome back, Shadow. So much has happened. Captain <clears throat> Bladewin has been arrested and shipped of rank, which means the Brass Blades of the Rose no longer have a captain. Until a new one is designated, I've been ordered to serve as acting captain of the Horizon Garrison. Though doubtless this is only a temporary arrangement, I will do my utmost to represent my brethren and protect the people of Horizon. Thank you, Shadow. For your service to the Sultanate, you are a true hero. Secrets and lies. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to... I'm hoping my dog doesn't tip over the green screen, so I'm pausing for a quick second. She just wants some attention. Hey, no, Lulu. Alright. Alright, so secret and lies. I salute you, honored friend, as acting captain... No, 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 Lulu, don't stop. Get back. <laughs> Did it. Alright. I need to pause for a second to see the... Okay. I think I'm okay. Maybe, maybe back a little bit. Yeah, I think we're good. Hopefully. Okay. I salute you, honored friend. As acting captain, I should be much obliged if you would grant me a personal request. In our efforts to ascertain the full extent of the former captain's corruption, we have been poring over his personal correspondence. Our search unearthed his sealed letter addressed to a man named Owen. But he is one of the Sultan's Sworn's elite. I can think of no reason why he should have any dealings with Blade One. We know now that the former captain was consorting with a coalition of criminals. Could it be that Owen's one too? Oweny? It's probably Owen or Oweny. I'm gonna keep saying Owen even if it's wrong. This letter may well serve as evidence of their collusion, and I dare not tamper with it myself. But given the events of recent days, I know not whom to trust with this information until now. I have chosen you, Shadow. Pray, bear the letter to Mistress Mamodi of the Quicksand, and relate the circumstances of his discovery. Not only is she a staunch supporter of the Sultana, but she is well acquainted with the Soul Sworn. Sultan Sworn. She will know how best to proceed. So we'll go ahead and teleport there.
Was that dude's name Tex-Mex? <laughs> oh, Shadow, it's been too long. The Dodden tells me you've been keeping quite busy in Horizon. I want you to know that I'm grateful for everything you've done for the people of Ulda. Even though we've seen uh, the seedier side of the city, we've continued to help your fellow man. Believe me, the folk around here love you for it. Hmm? What is it? You look like you've gotten something to say. So that's what this is all about. Fupalupa's thinking Owen might have been in league with Bladewin. That this letter could be proof of something shady. Well, he needn't worry. Owen's a loyal, uh, as loyal a Sultan Sworn as I've ever known. I haven't the foggiest what he this says, but... Wait a minute. Wasn't Owen with the one who... Oh, hells. I've had a bad feeling about this. Listen, Shadow. I think I know what this is all about, but I need you to swear to keep it quiet. If you'd rather wash your hands of the business, I won't hold it against you. But if you're determined to see it through to the bitter end, say the word and I'll explain. Duty, honor, and country. Can I count on your discretion, Shadow? If so, then listen closely. The outside world believes Uldah to be a sultanate, ruled by Sultana Namano Ulnamo. Truth is, though, it's the six wealthiest citizens that hold the most sway, the syndicate. But that it, that as it may, the Sultana still got the support of the people. But she might struggle to keep even, even if it, if a certain incident becomes public knowledge. Sorry, I butchered that one. It pains me to say it, but Her Grace's own crown, the symbol of the royal dynasty, has been stolen. And Owen, Owen to Sultan Sworn who was charged with guarding it that night. A wine? It might be a wine. I'd bet anything this letter was written by the bastards who made off with the crown. It can't be a coincidence that a man we know to have been fraternizing with thieves had a letter for Owen of all people, at this of all times. You need to take this to the man himself, Shadow. Tell him Amodi sent you, and that it concerns a lost heirloom. If it looks as though the fellow needs help, I want you to lend it to him. The future of our fair city may depend on it. Alright. So we need to go to the Hustling Strip. Taking the elevator. Um, where is he? Ah, over there by Scholar's Walk. See, we're in the... We're getting close to royalty here. If I do the uh, the gladiator missions, which I don't know if I will, because those are like side story stuff, but this guy's important for paladins, which is what I am, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. <laughs> I am playing as a paladin, if you are uh, unaware. Or technically, I'm a gladiator right now. The heart of the sworn lies beyond. State your business. Pardon. Did you say a lost heirloom? Proceed. Well, met, adventurer. What business? What business brings you here this day? A letter. Very well. Let's see it. Have you read this adventure? 
I see. But you have some inkling as to its contents, I think. Mistress Mamodi has doubtless explained to you in the significance of the crown, and what its loss could mean for her grace the Sultana. This theft shames the Sultan sworn, and me most of all. The blame is mine, you see. I grew lax in my duties, and in a moment of carelessness? No, it will do no good to recount the tale now. Since the hour of the theft, we've searched frantically for any signs, any whispers, as to the whereabouts of the crown. We have found nothing. The identity of the thieves and their motives seem fated to remain a mystery until you arrived, bearing this ransom note. In it, the criminals state their price for the return of her grace's crown. And though it pains me to say it, I fear I have no choice but to acquiesce to their demands. Too much is at stake to do otherwise. The crown symbolizes her grace's birthright and identifies her as a custodian of the Oldal legacy. Of the old legacy. It must be recovered. I shall travel to the unholy air and pave them their ransom. Though I am not foolish enough to meet these men alone as they stipulate, I dare not bring a host of my comrades, lest the thieves take fright. Friend, would you consent to be present for the exchange? Mistress Mamodi has always spoken of you in the most glowing terms, and I have never yet had reason to question her judgment. On behalf of all those loyal to the Sultana, I beseech you, Help us in our hour of need. Moving up in the world. Now we're helping the common soldiery. Well, no, they're literally the elite, so they're not the common soldiery. Okay, the unholy air is in ah near black brush Ooh, okay i do like that <laughs> i've never been able to turn while while uh teleporting like that i do i like that no i'm gonna I'm walk here i want to listen to the normal music of the nalan We're waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, I should have mended my gear. We're so far away from having to worry about it, but, you know. I've come as agreed. Now show me the crown. Aye, you'll have your precious crown once we've been duly compensated. Do you think me a fool? What assurance have I that you will honor your part of the agreement? Now then, Owen. You're the least trustworthy man here. Not only was the crown stolen under your watch, but it looks to me as if you violated the terms of our exchange. Did we not say that you were to come here alone? And given that you are not alone, what guarantee have we that there isn't a company of archers surrounding us as we speak, ready to feather me and my men the moment we they catch a glimpse of the crown? You have made a mock of my trust. The deal is off. Wait. Here's your payment, as promised. Hmm. <laughs> Aye. This is the real thing. <laughs> a thousand thank yous, boy. You succeeded where scores of thieves have failed. And now... At long last we have it, the power to create an army of undying soldiers, the traitor spurn. No, no, it can't be. What have I done? Surely you must have wondered what it was that you were handing over. What it was that seemed as valuable to us as the crown seemed to you? Or did you assume we were feeling charitable? Uh, but you must feel terrible, knowing that you've brought us the doom of your Silde. The doom of Silde. Worry not, boy. We'll grant you a quick death and spare you further uh, 
Ignominy. Ignominy? Interesting word. You're going to learn some vocab playing this game. I'll tell you that. There's too many. Shadow, run. Run while you can. Uh, I will do my duty. It's your duty to serve the Sultana, lad. And you'll be doing it for a good while yet. Sultan Sworn, put these thieves to the sword and secure the crown. Sultan Sworn? <laughs> no matter. Kill them all. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with. Ooh, there's a... We have a graphical error. Hope that goes away in the next cutscene. Wonder how that starts. Hope it doesn't crash the game either. Be kind of an awkward time too. Danger ground, Sultan Sworn. I really hope this this glitch goes away. Oh my, my hair's gone. I just noticed that. What the heck is happening? This is a, quite a weird glitch. Have you ever gone so hard you went bald? <laughs> Has Shadow turned into Saitama? Wait, there's someone healing him. Okay, never mind. Alright, please tell me that fix it. Okay. <laughs> that was strange, but kind of, that was funny. Was funny. Alright. Master Papa Sean, but why? How? The general saw you sneak into the vaults, Owen. He suspected something was afoot and ordered us to keep an eye on you. The Flame General? He ordered you to look after me? Master Papashan, more of them to the north. After them, Sultan Sworn, they have the crown. This lot ought sought only to delay us. Let us speak again back in the city. The source of his strength becomes clear. You may have bested the golem, but you will not fare so well this day. O oh, mournful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command, that I may smite mine enemies. Your very being imperils the plan. You cannot be suffered to live. Hmm. 
Okay, so I am still synced at level 18. I didn't know if they were going to do that or not. Oop, I'm poisoned. Wind springs this something might. Maha, ride as the venom eats its way through your veins. I'm going to miss a lot of the combat um, talking. So I, am, I apologize for that. You certainly have a knack for getting into trouble. That's Thangrid. An unwelcome guest. No matter. All shall fall before me. He talks mad game for just a lowly Bastion. Sorry, I made that noise and I didn't know voice acting was going to happen. That the wisdom of the Paragon should be brought low by mere mortals. Paragons? This is indeed a disturbing revelation. We had long suspected the involvement of the bringers of chaos, Ashians, to give them their true name. But, we could not be sure they are responsible for the recent disturbances, until now. As if the Sultanate needed any more enemies. Hmm. Have we Charlians crossed paths with Ashians before? Well, we've certainly... Wait. I don't recall telling you about my homeland. Ah, yes. That's right. You're one of the gifted. You know, this marks the third time I found you in the midst of trouble. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were Lone Stone for it. Anyway, I'm glad I started following you around. Who knows what grand conspiracy you've summoned upon next? I jest, I jest. Had I truly been watching your every move, I would have had take—I wouldn't have taken so long to intervene in your latest alter altercation. But all is well that ends well, eh? Our masked friend is no more. And while I very much doubt we've seen the last of its kind, his demise will likely grant us at least some respite. And on that note, I must away. Until next time, Shadow. Wait, my hair's still gone. <laughs> um, so we're going to keep going for just a little while longer. But I'm going to... Oh, wait. Let's teleport back to... Um, yeah, because my game is actually freaking out. So let's... Uh, teleport back to Old Ah. Exit game. Okay. And then just allow me to... Oop. Well. It just like... We'll see if it comes back up. Here, I'm testing on this. Um, or on this real quick. Okay, so that's still there. I'm seeing some weird stuff on my end. So let me just sign back in real quick. And hopefully... Um, and hopefully things turn out okay. 
I've never encountered that glitch before. Okay, there it goes. Ah. Uh, gotta wait for the queue again, though. Something I wish I had done is I wish I had checked, um, like, how long each of these are. Because I'm kind of wanting the, uh, like every time we complete a part, I'm going to glamour my armor so it looks like we're, you know, getting better. <laughs> That's the goal. So, we'll see about that. Sorry for this awkward little pause. I have no idea what was what was happening there. Okay, I have hair. <laughs> That's a good sign, but the screen is still blinking, or at least it was. Um, oh, and this is my stuff, not the new game plus. Oh, please tell me it's saved. Okay. Oh, that was a closer either right. Scholar's walk, I'll have to remember that. Everyone is waiting for you, adventurer. Does it surprise you to see me dressed as so, Shadow? I was once a Sultan Sworn, you know. Though it seems fifteen years since I put down my sword and took up the role of Station Master. It is a capacity in which I am no less proud to serve, lest you doubt. Whenever Her Grace ventures outside the gates, I have the honor of protecting her person. Never before had I seen so despondent have I seen her so despondent as when news of the crown's theft reached her ears. But thanks to your valiant efforts, she's returned to her former vibrant self. You have the gratitude of every Sultan Sworn Shadow. Exalted Vessel of Nordthal, Guardian of Thanalan, 17th Ascendant to the Throne of Uldar, Her Royal Majesty Nanamo Ulnamo presides. Long live Nanamo! Long live Glory Nanamo. to the Sultana! To the Sultana. Forever, may, Forever she reign. may she reign! They regaled me with tales of a champion amongst champions, ones whose tireless service to the crown merited the highest honor we might bestow. Never did it occur to me that it might be you. Bring it forth! Betokening our gratitude and esteem, I, Nanamo Ulnamo, Sultana of Ulda, confer upon you this gift. Raubon? Your grace. See to it that our champion is my personal guest at the banquet. As you command, your grace. If what they say is true, Ulda owes you a great debt. I am Rauban al-Din. With the consent of her grace, 
I oversee the affairs of the Sultanate. Brave souls are few and far between in these times. I count my blessings when I find one. Her grace invites you to join her at the coming banquet. I trust I will see you there. An honor! Huzzah! Indeed. Come, hero! Until then, for the sake of her grace and the glory of the Sultanate, may you walk in the light of the crystal. A matter of tradition. By the Twelve, Shadow, for an adventurer to receive a personal invitation from her grace is unprecedented. Seats at this banquet are offered only to the most distinguished individuals. You will be dining with some of the most influential people in Elda. There are, of course, certain protocols that must be observed, but I have no authority on them. Fear not, however. Mistress Mamodi has long uh, been responsible for familiarizing foreign guests with our customs. Pray, return to the quicksand and speak with her. She will tell you all you need to know. Really? Was my stuff getting worn? Huh. Welcome back, Shadow, and congratulations on your invite to the big soiree. I have no idea what that word was, so I just guessed. But, to be honest, I never imagined I'd be explaining these procedures to you. It's usually only foreign dignitaries who get to hear me paddle on and on about royal traditions. Any road, I know you're a busy man, so I'll keep it short and sweet. In accordance with ancient customs, all guests of this banquet are required to wear a pair of ceremonial earrings, made especially for the occasion. They're meant to symbolize... Actually, forget about that. This is meant to be the short version. <clears throat> Being of a design unique to the occasion, the earrings serve as a security measure. The Sultan's sworn won't let you hear the hall without them. Near the hall. Your set should be ready and waiting for you at the Goldsmith's Guild. Mr. Serendipity is expecting you, so you want to head there now. Once you've got them, bring them back here and we'll continue. Alright. So we're taking a field trip to the Goldsmith's Guild. I should have gone out the other door. Greetings. Is there something I can help you with? Ah, Shadow. Your earrings are right here. I crafted them myself. I'll have you know, I think they're... V I think you'll be very pleased. In case Mrs. Momodi didn't warn you, the box is locked, and I... Uh, and I'm not permitted to give you the key. It's a final safeguard, you see. Only d uh, designated individuals are authorized to dis distribute the earrings to guests. In this instance, the person in question is none other than the Mrs. Momodi. So you'll need to ask her to open the box on your behalf. Pardon the inconvenience, but the Sultan sworn take her grace safety very seriously. Alright, so back to Mamodi. She can open a box. Picked up the errand yet, Shadow? Let me just... 
Well, now looks like the guildmaster outdid herself with this pair. You'd best take good care of these errands. If they fell into the wrong hands, gods only know what might happen. Now then, I hope you're feeling sociable, Shadow, because you're about to hobnob with Old Oz Elite. Let me know when you're ready to head to the banquet. Okay, I don't actually have to equip them. Good. This is it, Shadow. Oh, wait. This is called a Royal Reception. This is it, Shadow. Your big debut in Old On High Society. The banquet is being held in the Fragrant Chamber. Head over to the Royal Promenade, and Bartholomew will show you in. Oh, but be sure to put on your errand first, or he'll send you packing. Oh, okay. We might have to actually still put him on. Right. Well, I reckon that's everything. Try not to let all the pomp and, c and ceremony get to you. Just be yourself, and you'll be fine. Alright, so I gotta put on those earrings and talk to this at Bartholomew. Yeah. Um, so. Sorry, ears are hurting a little bit. But we got it. A banquet hosted by Her Grace, the Sultana, is due to begin shortly. Attendance is by invitation only. Please make way for arriving guests. We are honored to receive you, my lord. Please proceed inside. We've gone from giving people pretzels to dining with the elites in a very short amount of time. Good on us. Not to spoil your appetite, but Uda is hardly so bountiful as this meal would have you believe. While we gorge ourselves, children starve in the streets, nor can her grace do aught to help them. She is thwarted at every turn by those on the syndicate who derive their wealth from the workers' poverty. Beneath her mask of stately serenity, she is aghast at the plight of her subjects. But there will be no hope for the masses until the crown is restored to power. I am truly grateful for all you have done for Ulda. But there is so much more to do. That light, what is it? So bright, almost like by the Twelve. Tell me true. Have you been troubled by strange dreams of late? Visions of the crystal? Mayhap you put them down to an excess of ether? Yes, you are like they were. Allow me to explain. Before you came to Eorzea, there were others like you who fought the primals. Though they were not of this land, when the Garlean Empire threatened the realm, they helped bring together the three grand companies. 
And they stood with us at Cartano. That fateful day five years ago, the day we lost them. None who survived have forgotten the hero's sacrifice. Nor would any man deny they fought alongside us. But the names of these heroes come not to our lips. The once familiar pages of their story are now blank to us. And in our mind's eye, their faces are not but silhouettes amid a blinding glare. It is for this reason that we have come to call them the Warriors of Light. When I look at you, I cannot help but think of them and of what you might achieve. You must protect that crystal at all costs. It is a gift from Hydaelyn, mother of all, and one she gave to you for a reason. Yours is no ordinary tale. If I am right, the fate of the realm may yet hang upon your deeds. Only heroes and martyrs are fit to bear such a burden. Let us pray you are the former. to the four victory belongs to the bold show those imperial whore sons what we're made of the left flank buckles divert the barracudas bid them hold that position though it cost them their lives the yellow serpents are in need of succor pray send the white wolves to their aid the adventurers risk life and limb for our cause we must not fail them. Is aught amiss? No, it is nothing. Don't go down so easily! Eyes forward! We are being watched. Bloodthorn! Bloodthorn! Respond! Respond, damn you! Raging bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve, what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me. God damn it! We cannot hold much longer. <laughs> Mad snake! Mad snake! Answer me! Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. 
We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Swa. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soi. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it! We lay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care if our link cells are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre. This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? to take our place beside Archon Louisois. To your positions. I'll speak these, that I should live to behold Bahamut once more. Magnificent. The aeons of imprisonment have only made him hungrier. I am aware of them. Pay them no mind. They are powerless to act. It is begun. Soon the planet will regain its true form. How you feeling, Shadow? They said you faint in the middle of one of the general stories. I had to, uh, I had to have you carried back to the hourglass. I reckon you made quite an impression on your fellow guests, though. Probably not the sort you intended. You sure are getting enough rest, Shadow. The life of an adventurer uh, can be pretty taxing. Any road, I'm glad to see you're back to normal. No offense, but looking after you is getting a bit tiresome. Oh, before I forget, the general left a message for you. Said that when you're feeling up to it, you should come and see him in the Hall of Flames. Probably wants you to finish the story he was telling you when you fell asleep. Alright. And usually, I would go longer, but... Um, well, maybe sometimes. Usually I'll start earlier. It's the actual thing I would say. But, um, that is actually where I'm going to end. Uh, to, whoops. That's actually where I'm going to end today's stream. So, thank you for joining for my first, as I was saying. Thank you for joining me for my first, uh, Final Fantasy XIV stream. I hope you enjoyed it.
and uh, I shall see you next time. Stay awesome. Next Saturday.